Okay, now um, I've just screwed these in with two self-tapping screws. Uh, yeah, alright, so two self-tapping screws, and what you have to do is you have to make sure that this, this is metal, so self-tapping is perfect. Uh, you have to make sure the screws are right size, but you have to check if there's any clearance underneath this. If there's nothing underneath it, you should be alright to do it. I had a look, I unscrewed this all. Um, there's, there's two entry points for the junction box and um, they're for two cables here and here but if you're like me and you have done the socket if you've got the socket and um, want to do the extra thing you might have to cut a thing or cut a slit for a new cable to go through I when I took this uh, welding cable off on my welding machine so it doesn't dangle all the way I cut a bit off and I used it to do a plug as it was a perfect amperage and could handle it and, um, so I cut a slit and all I did was took hacksaw blade and cut it straight down and then I used nose pliers and just pulled up the porcelain. Alright, so these terminals are not marked, but this one has a tight notch in it where the earth is, so I use that for earth. As if, if earth touches one of these, it goes straight to the ground, it goes straight down to the ground. And um, yeah, so you just screw them in, choose which one you want, make sure all the blues are together, all the earth is together, and all the browns are together. Um, that's one of the main things. Um, just put the cover back on. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to say in the first part when I was um, discussing all these things. Um, this is a very odd junction box, I've tried having a look for them, and because they're MK, I think they're special, but um, the shape is kind of... I thought when I found this, I, was, I thought it was like a bell transformer or something. So, um, when I came to open it, it was a junction box and it was perfect. Um, it's MK, so good quality with that no cross and nothing. Uh, the screw drivers had it, so. Alright, that's alright then. Um, now we come to. The plug, the socket, the socket a little bit. Uh, just want to screw, make sure they're like twisted. Um, find the right terminals on this. Um, so there's, on this one, neutral here, the earth is here, and live there. So start by putting live in. You want to unscrew the. You want to unscrew the terminals. the insulation is touching the terminal always. The reason the insulation is so the insulation touches everything apart from the wire which the wire sits inside. The wire should not be half out and things. It should not be slipping out. The wire should have no chance to be able to touch everything else. So if, if it does then you are screwed. Uh, you have a risk at your hands and this being plastic it will melt and as this is a high impact socket it has other chemicals in it in the in the plastic so it um yeah so it doesn't so it, it doesn't crack as easily those ke chemicals may well be flammable and that's something that you don't want flammable chemicals and an electrical hazard do not go and neither does this thing go in so come on uh, yes there we go sorry about the camera at the moment you it's more like a radio at the moment it's not like YouTube um, Alright, so we've got that in. Uh, unscrew the neutral terminal. Stick the neutral cable in. Neutral is kind of like your, pos your negative and on a battery, and the live is kind of like a positive. Think of it that way, you'll remember it easier. Alright, this is not going good. Um, what the hell just happened there? 
Oh no. Okay. Um stick that in there. Screw it in. Put this over the cord grip and stick the cord grip over the top. <laughs> when um I flick when that thing flicked. Sorry, I will have to leave the camera for a minute. Uh, when that thing flicked, it was actually the one of the side screws on the cord grip. I now must search for it. Got the Roman bloody conquest. Um, what the f is that shit? Sorry, I don't like swearing on TV. Nope, that's a bloody nail. The hell is this thing? Okay, I've successfully lost the cable grip. But no matter, as it's thick cable, so what will happen is as this little black thing here gets presses against the wire, it, um, when you shut the lid, the whole thing actually goes tighter. Uh, yeah, it it tightens, and you don't really need this cord grip. You do need it; it's 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 effective, but just it it's it, it it's safer to have the cord grip. Sorry about that. Um, you know. Put this into its place and then simply just screw it down. We'll see if if I find the thing later then I'll I will obviously put it in but right now it's not looking too good, I can't really find it. Okay, I'm just gonna have another look for it. It might turn up. As they say, it's always the last place you go. So, let's hope I find the last place soon. Uh, where is that shit? Where is it? Oh, we're going to be far. Um, that sucks. Really does suck. Yeah. Life sucks. Let's make it a bit easier. Alright, so we got that. Uh, let's put it over there. As you can see, the cable's not really doing much. I'm going to see if I put electrical socket screw maybe in there. It might work. We might do it some other time. Oh, come on. Anyway. So, we just use this. Tighten uh there we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is these things must go around the edge. There we go. That's in. This is going in. And there we go. Uh, two screws for the case are here. One goes there, one goes here. And we just simply screw it. So. I hope this really helped. Now, if you buy maybe a band or uh, like a heavy duty machinery or things in your workshop or garage, um, right now you can hook them up without getting a like, professional in installation.
without getting a professional to come in and charge you about 300 some the labor costs quite a lot now for electricals they'll probably charge you maybe a 40 pound an hour right now I bought all technically if I, I didn't buy any of this but if I did the junction box, box would have cost me th three pound the cooker switch might have cost me ten pound it's either one of those two this plug as it was a good quality one probably cost five six pounds um, the wire uh, but if you buy like a cheaper one it's gonna probably cost you a pound maybe so you might pick this up in a market somewhere it might be cheap alright so yeah so that's really it and that's done everything looks neat that's a wire that's a plug on the end that's just a spare plug as I said I've got many of these plugs lying around I'll be happy to sell it to you for like five or something um yeah everything turns on everything's all good only thing is you want to run this on a 30 amp power supply 30 amp supply power otherwise um yeah you have a chance of burning the thing out hope this helped I hope it really helped because I spent a lot of time doing this. Um, but it's Lord above all, and I'll be getting some videos on wiring uh, an extension socket as well in your in your home or garage. Um, thanks.